What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that all of you are having a wonderful last few days of 2023 during this holiday season. So Paula Abdul is accused the American Idol and the So You Think You Can Dance executive producer, Nigel Lithgo, of SA in a lawsuit filed yesterday. She filed it Friday. So SA, just for, you know, um, those who might not be familiar, I have to abbreviate that according to YouTube guidelines. But basically, it's an intimate, violent act against her person. So unwanted advances from Nigel that she did not give consent to. The Grammy Award winning singer said that one um, act of violence happened in the early 2000s and a second around 2015 while she was a judge on American Idol. According to the lawsuit filed in the Los Angeles County Superior Court under the S Abuse and Cover Up Accountability Act, which allows SA lawsuits to be made even if the statute of limitations has passed. Shout out to California and New York for allowing these um, victims to come forward, you know, with their stories, with these lawsuits. Like, I'm here for it because I feel like so many times when people have these violent acts enacted upon them, especially, you know, women um, who are in, you know, positions of, you know, their subordinates or, you know, the power dynamic is not on their side in most cases, um, that they internalize a lot of that shame. And so... You know, I'm I'm here for New York and California, allowing people to come forward with their their stories and more importantly their lawsuits, even after the statute of limitations has passed. So Abdul, who's 61, alleged that during one of the initial seasons of American Idol, where she served as a judge from 2002 to to, to 2009. Oh, the life ghost shoved her against the wall of an elevator, grabbed her front and private area, the top and the bottom of her body, and began shoving his tongue down her throat. She tried to push him away and she ran out of the elevator when the doors opened, the lawsuit states. Representative for life ghost did not immediately respond to a request for comment. I'm sure they didn't. <clears throat> I'll hope that he has to pay because... That's ridiculous. Following the alleged um, violent acts against her person, a tearful Abdul told one of the, her representatives, but ultimately decided to not take action for fear that Lithe Goat would have fired her from American Idol, according to the lawsuit. Listen, and just a side note, we've heard that happen, you know, multiple times, right? The retaliation. Um, even in my own uh, industry in academia, I feel like the, the the books or the laws on the books against um, retaliation happened just recently. And when I say recent, I mean like within the, the last few years. Um, I know Harvey Weinstein, you know, he, which good, I'm glad that he's locked up now because he was a danger to society and to Hollywood. But he, you know, blackballed a lot of um, actresses and tried to, you know, kind of derail their careers because they didn't want to be intimate with him. And he's gross. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, it's, of course, you know, these, these acts are, um, they're violent in nature and they're about power. I understand that. But I'm like, Harvey Weinstein, like, have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Maybe that's why he, you know, was using that position to force, literally force himself onto, um, onto women. But it was just, it was disgusting how he would use that power and that authority that he had as a Hollywood producer, you know, to derail so many women's careers. So her, her fears were um, rooted in, in, in truth. They were valid. It also alleged that Abdul was discriminated against in terms of compensation. Mm-hmm. I bet. 
and benefits compared to one of the show's male judges and host. You know what? And that's, and that's again, women are not paid um, as equally as men. And I'm sure the Simon Cowell was making way more than both her and Randy Jackson. She was bullied, harassed, and taunted during her time on the show. That's horrible. The lawsuit also names 19 Entertainment Incorporated, Fremantle Media, North American Incorporated, American Idol Productions Incorporated, Dance Nation Productions as defendants. I know that's right, Paula, get your bag. Absolutely, multiple streams of income. <laughs> okay, sue them all, sis, yes. NBC News reached out to Fremantle for comment on Saturday. Okay, NBC News, you guys are a reputable um, news source, but you know these people are not going to respond. Uh, the second alleged assault occurred after Abdul signed a contract in 2015 to appear as a judge on season 12 of So You Think You Can Dance. See, now, <sighs> that makes me sad that she had to, or she felt like she had to work with him on another show. You know what I mean? Like he was, um, she was working on American Idol from 2002 to 2009, but then to have to deal with the same creep and, and alleged creep predator um, in January of 2015 on a whole different show, that just makes my skin crawl. Like sometimes the all, all money ain't good money, but go ahead. Um, she says that he, Nigel invited her to his home for what she believed was a dinner to discuss business opportunities. Okay, um, Paula, baby girl, listen. And I can't even say baby girl because she's 61. <laughs> she's way older than me. Um, if this man, you know, did this to you back in the American Idol days, when he invites you to his house for dinner, you politely decline, you know, make up some kind of excuse, some kind of emergency you know, something. No, I, mm -mm. he wasn't inviting her to dinner. I actually had that. I remember I came back from traveling somewhere and this um, adjunct professor invited me to, I think he said he wanted to hear about the trip at his apartment or something like that. And I was thinking, uh no you if you first of all you could probably care less <laughs> about the trip <laughs> and secondly uh if you were that interested you would ask specific questions here on campus like anything that you want to know you know if you have, want recommendations of places to eat or you know hotels or whatever i can tell you right here out in the open um on this very safe very public college campus like no okay nbc news it says Toward the end of the evening, mm -hmm. Legos allegedly forced himself on top of Abdul while she was seated on his couch and attempted to kiss her while proclaiming that the two would make an excellent power couple, according to the lawsuit. She pushed him off of her, told her that she was not interested in his advances, and left his home. <sighs> Paula, I just... Yeah, that's unfortunate. And I, of course, I'm not victim blaming at all. But the fact that he thought that they would make a um, a power couple and she went to his house, it's like, ugh, that's unfortunate. As with the earlier incident, she feared she would be retaliated against or blackballed if she spoke out about the incident. NBC News reached out to Abdul's representative for further comment. The lawsuit alleged that while the So You Think You Can Dance show was filmed in Las Vegas in 2015, Ligo, Ligo approached Abdul and one of her assistants from behind, <laughs> not the assistants too, and groped the assistant without her consent. Oh, this man was a terror. That's ridiculous. He was the main judge on So You Think You Can Dance for 16 seasons. And he said that on a post on Twitter, he asked not to be a judge on on season 17, but is expected to return for season 18. Is that show still on? I only saw, a, I okay. Um, 
she Paula said that she remained silent for years due to fear of speaking out mm -hmm, against the powerful tele television producer who could easily break her career as a television personality, the lawsuit states. She also feared being ostracized and blackballed. However, in light of this new accountability act, she says that she's no longer willing to remain silent, the lawsuit stated. Good. Good, Paula. Yeah, speak up. Speak out. Um, the alleged incidents caused Paula Abdul to suffer anxiety, fear, humiliation, and severe emotional distress. And she is seeking unspecified damages. Listen, get your coin, okay? Get your bag. Absolutely. It's just unfortunate that she had to work with someone who um, was so, you know, disgusting all these years. Um, I'm glad that she's suing. I'm glad that I hope her assistant sues too. I hope that she, you know, can help her assistant sue. Um, not only will that give more credibility to, you know, her own lawsuit, but also to give her assistant, you know, some of that power and that agency back. But I want to, I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on Paula um, Abdul speaking out and suing Nigel after all these years? I'm glad. And I'm glad that, like I said, uh, California and New York are allowing people to come forward with these stories because a lot of it is just, you know, essay is like rampant through, throughout um, many industries, not just Hollywood, but yeah, kudos to Paula. And I hope that she gets her bag and has a chance to heal and move on from this. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Um, if you're new here, love to have you. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you later. Take care, aces. Bye.